Could it be? Has the mighty Kentucky Wildcats really been upset by the Oakland Golden Grizzlies in the first round of the NCAA tournament? Indeed, it's not a dream nor a nightmare for Kentucky fans, but reality. The final score read 80, 76 in favor of the Golden Grizzlies. Let's delve into the game and see how this David slayed Goliath. The game was a roller coaster of emotions. Jack Golke of the Oakland Golden Grizzlies was nothing short of remarkable, delivering a performance that will be etched in NCAA history. With 32 points and seven three-pointers in the first half alone, Golke was a force that the Wildcats could not tame. On the Wildcats' side, Trey Mitchell put up a strong fight. His performance was admirable, but even his contributions couldn't tilt the scales in their favor. Antonio Reeves was another beacon of hope for the Wildcats, scoring 27 points. However, their combined efforts fell short against the relentless Golden Grizzlies. But what about Reed Shepard, one might ask? A promising player who unfortunately struggled throughout the game. His performance, or the lack thereof, was a significant factor that contributed to the Wildcats' defeat. And so, the game ended. Not with the roar of the Wildcats, but with the triumphant growl of the Golden Grizzlies. Kentucky fans were left in disbelief, disappointment etched on their faces. The loss even led some to call for John Calipari's departure as head coach. In summary, the game was a display of grit, determination, and a reminder that in basketball, as in life, there are no guarantees. The underdog can rise, the mighty can fall, and the game goes on. Today, the Golden Grizzlies have etched their name in the annals of NCAA history, pulling off an upset that will be talked about for years to come. A game of unexpected turns, of dreams realized and hopes dashed, of the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. That, my friends, is the beauty of basketball.